things sir one here today if i come to the triangle okay in a given triangle or for the triangle if the base length is a and height <clears throat> of the vertex height of the vertex is h then here i am asking what is the area of triangle this one you know all of you know this area of triangle is half into is it correct yes half into base into height yes that is half a h exactly exactly right good this is the area of triangle okay and number 2 entering a bit into mathematics part suppose here this is a triangle yes yes accept and half don't put half b into h uh, of course that what you learnt in your lower standards here uh, length i took it as a so half a into h if i take the base length as b then your answer is correct half b h okay uh then coming to here suppose this is a triangle and the for the given triangle here what i gave actually height of the triangle i gave this is the height and this is the base length a these two things i gave base length from here to there is a okay and in this case <coughs> suppose if i ask you what are the remaining two sides then actually some additional information is to be given to you am i right to say the second side let it be b and the third side let it be c okay ah in this case suppose these are the three sides and if you know the three sides like a is known c is known b is known then it is very easy to say what is the perimeter of triangle perimeter means total length okay anybody can say here the perimeter of triangle okay that's very easy yeah a plus b plus c very very easy perimeter is equals to a all the three sides now now here that is a plus b plus c yeah exactly it means total length of the three sides sir what is the toughness here sir uh, in this question finding out the perimeter very good what i said if you know the b value and c value then you can say very easily instead suppose he gave these two angles like opposite to c okay let it be the angle gamma opposite to b let it be the angle beta and opposite to a means total angle here let it be alpha okay then here in this triangle after knowing the h h is what height height means here you drop the perpendicular onto the base 
from vertex is it looking like perpendicular to the base nana am i right h is perpendicular to the base yeah correct it is perpendicular to the base now look at if i give the names i think you can identify the right angle triangle in the given figure ah yes yes correct suppose if i give the names like a b capital b capital c capital d here i think you are going to find out two right angled triangles in the given figure are you able to identify the two right angled triangles nana yes yes what are the two right angled triangles here will you say the right angled triangles triangle a b d excellent correct and c b d wow nice a b d and c b d right correct correct accepted okay ah uh, a b d and c b d right so from the two triangles i think already trigonometry is sorted in your intermediate okay a b d c b d yes correct correct okay first if i come to the triangle from the triangle here uh see a b d right angle triangle okay uh shall i say sin gamma equals to sin gamma usually sin gamma means sin theta is equals to opposite side by hypotenuse am i right okay ah yes so opposite side who is the opposite side to gamma identify here that is h am i right ah yes so sin gamma is opposite side okay opposite side h by hypotenuse hypotenuse means opposite side to h by b yeah, x right correct h by b right correct so h by hypotenuse opposite side to the 90 degrees right angle that is b h by b yeah, excellent sin gamma is h by b okay and in the same way from the triangle a look at b c d from this triangle b c d sin beta equals to again this is right angle nana here so opposite side by hypotenuse ah uh, this time i have to write here h by c ah uh, yes correct okay nana right good 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 yeah right h by c so from here if they give the angles beta and gamma i think i can find out the unknown b value and the unknown c value okay so from here shall i write sir b is equals to from this equation okay that implies ah uh, from this equation by rearranging these two terms shall i write b is equals to h by sin gamma okay that equals or uh, and c is equals to from the second equation by rearranging these two terms will you say h by sin beta of course using the mathematics you can say 1 by sin gamma is cosecant gamma ah yes even here also h by sin beta using the mathematics you can say h cosecant beta okay what i am saying correct or wrong nana yeah yeah sorry <laughs> is this math or physics the mathematics concepts using in physics okay sai kumar ah right 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 okay ah mathematics was developed to use that in physics only 
So the same mathematics, whatever you learned, I'm using in my physics. Okay. So after knowing the B value and C value, shall I write here the perimeter as Why? Because in the question he gave A, H, additionally these two angles, beta and gamma, not given a B value, not given C value. That's why here B and C I found using some mathematics and I'm going to substitute in place of B and C. So perimeter, shall I write it like A plus B as H by sine gamma, Okay, that e plus C is H by sine beta. Okay, is it correct, Nana? Okay, good. This is the perimeter. Very good, very good, very good. Right? And one more thing from the triangle that what you have to remember. Uh, this one, all of you know, uh, no need to say for the right angle triangle. That is uh, hypotenuse is equals to root of side square plus side square. Is it required, Nana? If it is a right angle triangle, and if I give the values like A, B, C, the hypotenuse C is equals to root of A square plus B square. Is it required? Pythagoras. Yes, yes, Pythagoras theorem. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why just uh, I'm skipping this one. Okay. Not required, I strongly believe. Ah, right, right. So Pythagoras principle, that is a basic, very basic concept. I think you know it. That's why I'm skipping. No need. Very good. Okay. And one more here, you have to remember the sign rule. Uh, sign rule for a given triangle. Okay. Is. Okay. Uh, suppose if alpha, beta, gamma are given and the three sides are given to you. Okay. Nothing to worry. The Sharasar will explain this one in geometry. But unfortunately, we have to use that before explaining that in mathematics. That's why I'm giving that formula here. That is, the sign rule is if the three sides are known and the opposite angles are known, means opposite to A, that is alpha, opposite to B is beta, and opposite to C, that is gamma. If you know the three opposite angles and the three sides of a triangle, then the sign rule, what they derive in mathematics is A by sine of the opposite angle. Who is the sine of opposite angle to A, Nana? Opposite to A, who is there? The angle is alpha. Very good. So A by sine alpha. Ah, right, good. That equals to right, right. In the same way, I think you can say B by sine opposite angle, opposite to B, the angle is beta. Yes. So sine beta. And in the same way, now you can understand, understand that C by how much I am going to write. How much I am going to write here? Ah, very good. Now you understood. C by gamma. Sine gamma. Yes, yes. This is called sine rule in mathematics. Okay, this is uh, the basic concept of triangle, how to find the area, how to find the uh, perimeter in the perimeter, instead of giving the two sides, if height is given, how to find the perimeter, and if required, how to use the sign rule. Okay, and then here, ah, okay, right. And then here, suppose this is a triangle, that to one equilateral triangle. Equilateral means I think all of you know, all the three sides are equal. Okay, 
So take it as one equilateral triangle. Yes, all the three sides are equal. Okay. And here, suppose these are the vertices. And this point very frequently we use in our physics, most important. That's why I'm giving here five stars to it. Okay, five star point. Then here in this point, uh, equilateral triangle means before starting, you can say all sides are equal. Let the side each be A. Ah, right. A, A, and A. All the sides are equal. I'm taking here. Okay. And if you drop the medians from the vertex, medians joining the midpoint. Joining the midpoint, first median from the vertex, and second median from the vertex. Okay. And third median from the vertex. Right? You can see here. Median means the line drop to join the midpoint of opposite side from the vertex. Okay. Likewise, I drew here three medians. Midpoint of this side. Better I give some names here like A, B, C. From the vertex A, I dropped um, not a perpendicular. No, no, keep in mind. This is a median. Median means joining the midpoint. But unfortunately, in equilateral triangle, the median is nothing but perpendicular. Okay. So here, the median or the perpendicular in case of equilateral triangle. Okay. That median and here from vertex B, this is the median dropped to the midpoint of AC. And this is the third median dropped from vertex onto AB, midpoint of AB. So the three medians you observe, they are appear to meet at a point here. I think you know it in your lower standard. What is that point? Anyone knows its name? Oh, good, good. Harsha. It is a centroid. Very good, 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 good. That's nice. Yes, yes, that is a centroid. So if I take this centroid as a C, okay, uh, now I am writing here in case of equilateral triangle, yeah, in case of equilateral triangle only, I am seeing here, okay. Uh, the centroid is the point of intersection of medians is the point of intersection point of intersection of medians uh, it divides the median in the ratio of dash from vertex. Anyone remember none of this one? Wow, nice. In the ratio of two is to one from vertex. Very good, very good. Your answer is correct. Nice. Ratio of here, I'm writing, this is two is to one. Excellent, all of you know it. Right. Okay. Then here, my question this one I think you know in your lower standard. Okay. One minute, please. I'll put in mute for a while.
Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, in the ratio two is to one here. What is this? Only the God knows. Okay, right, leave it. Uh, coming back to here. Yeah, two is to one. Now the question is, if you know the height of this median, that is altitude, then will you say what is the distance in terms of the height from A to C and C to A? Okay. Once again, I'm repeating the question. Suppose if you know like the H altitude, okay, that H is known in terms of H, how to say the value from A to C and then C to, suppose if you take it as a D, C to D. Oh, good, Sarita. A to C is two third of altitude and C to D, Nana? Yes, you are right, Sarita. A to C is two third, one third of altitude. Very good, very good. You are 100% correct. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. That one I am saying here. If the length of altitude or length of median is h uh, then the length of ac means for vertex to centroid that is the distance between vertex and centroid is equals to yes vertex to centroid means ac is equals to actually cut in the ratio of 2 is to 1 nana total number of parts of total height ad is three parts This is the previous slide only, master. Two is to one here. So two is to one, total number of parts, three. Out of three parts, AC is of two parts. Okay. So here I write the two parts out of three parts of the altitude height H. This one, all of you understood now how to write the, this part AC, the two parts of total number of parts, three parts. Yes, sir, understood. Yeah, yeah. Then it's very easy, very easy to say. Very good. So total three parts, here I require two parts. So two by three of the total length, that is H. Very good. And in the same way, you can say the length of, CD, that is, uh, no, no, who is this Tejashvi? Okay, very good. Tejashvi, here, simple, you can understand. Suppose this is the median, and you take it here, it is the centroid, and this is the point vertex A. And this is the point, the midpoint of the base D. Okay, only one line I drew here from the previous triangle. That is AD line, AD. And this is the centroid. Okay, are you able to follow Tejashvi? Ah, right. And you know in your lowest standard, this centroid cuts the median 
in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Okay. Means, shall I write the length of this part is 2 some x. Okay. And length of this part as 1 into x. Why? Because this is ratio, Nana. 2 is to 1. The 2 is to 1 ratio, shall I write it like 2x and 1x? You understood this point? Tejashvi? All right. Okay. What will be the total length of this median? Yeah, yeah. Akshita, okay. Total length of this one? 2x plus 1x is equals to length of A. That equals to 3x. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, now you understood this point, Tejashvi? Total length from A to D is 3x. You understood this one? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then right. Now I am asking if AD is given as a H, means AD is given as a H, then shall I write X is equals to H by 3? This step you understood? Ah, right, good. X is 1, H by 3 means look at from C to D is how much? 1x. Ah, good. Yes, yes. So, 1x is equals to 1 into h by 3. That equals to h by 3. Look at CD. How much I wrote here? Vertex and centroid. The length of CD. This one only I am going to write here. The length of CD. That is the distance between Centroid to base. H is not equal to 1. Anna. Who said H equals to 1? Sure, Sai Aditya. Centroid to base is equals to, shall I write here as H by 3? Why? Because this is 1x. Is it correct? you have to respond. Ah, yes. Yeah, good. Then 2x part here. Yes, yes, yes. 2x. 1x is h by 3 means 2x is multiply this one with 2. Means multiply h by 3 with 2. That is 2h by 3. What I wrote here. Now you understood Nana, both the lengths. What takes to centroid? Centroid to the base. So is it clear? Any doubt? Understood. Okay, right. Okay. Sayacha, what you want from the first page? This is the first page. Shall I go to second page? Okay, welcome, Nana. Tejashvi. Yeah, moving back to second page. So, any doubt here, Nana? What takes to centroid, centroid to base? Shall I erase this part? Yeah, right. Very good. I'm going to erase this part. Okay, coming to here. Last one is nothing but here, 2H by 3, Nana. Okay, who is this? Ganesh. That is 2H by 3. Why? Because that is 2X I require. 1X I got H by 3. Na? So 2X is nothing but 2 into 1X. That is H by 3. 2 into H by 3. Okay, Ganesh. Is it clear? Ah, okay, right, right. Good. Right. So these two things you have to remember now. Okay, what takes to centroid, centroid to base, 2H by 3, 1H by 3. Okay, but 
the extra thing what you require particularly in case of equilateral triangle okay once again for your convenience i am redrawing the equilateral triangle here in this page instead of every time going back to the first page even in the second page also same diagram i am repeating redrawing here a b c and the midpoint d and exactly this is the median okay right this is the median and here this median whereas it is the centroid and you said cut in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay before going to the centroid concept if i ask you in case of equilateral triangle what is the height of the altitude means length of this ad if i ask you well anybody say straight away what will be the value of h anyone knows it so no one is typing here oh someone is typing in whatsapp No, 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 no. Nivedita. No. Look at in case of equilateral triangle, the median is nothing but the perpendicular drop to the base, particularly in case of equilateral triangle. Okay. If it is a perpendicular, and that too, this is the midpoint of BC means, shall I write BD value as half of the base length A by 2? Any mistake here? Ah, no, Nishchal Balaji, yes, correct. You are right. Yeah, right. Now you are going to use the Pythagoras principle for a b d okay so from a b d triangle right angle triangle pythagoras principle hypotenuse is equals to square root of ah uh, yeah that's what i'm asking asking radhika balaji okay or hypotenuse square is equals to side square that is a by 2 whole square plus another side square that is h square all of you know this pythagoras principle nana hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square yeah yeah all of you know it no who is this six double y pythagoras principle you don't know know it okay right right so here according to this pythagoras principle we write it as a square and take it to the left hand side nana after squaring after squaring i will get a square divided by two square is four okay so a square by four taken to the other hand means minus a square minus a square by four is equals to h square this one after taking LCM, you will get to all together 4a square minus a square. 3a square by 4 equals to h square. And take the square root on both sides. Root of 3a square by 4 equals to h square uh, under root. Okay. So you will get this is root 3 under root a square is a by root of 4 is 2 equals to h. So, uh, yes, this is the height of the RTS yes, or vertex in case of equilateral triangle, only in case of equilateral triangle. So, try to keep it as a point. 
only in case of equilateral triangle length of altitude ah uh, yeah height equals to root of root 3 by 2 into a okay that's why when you come to equilateral triangle in my physics particularly many times i use when i start my intermediate classes equilateral triangle only in case of equilateral triangle straight away i come to that implies here okay the distance from vertex means a to centroid means c i wrote here vertex to centroid 2 by 3 h now you can substitute in place of h as root 3 a by 2 okay so 2 to get cancelled you will get root 3 a by 3 again root 3 root 3 times cancel you will get a by root 3 any doubt in simplification in the simplification do you have any doubt no okay so you can remember the distance from vertex to centroid ac is equals to a by root 3 this is one point you have to remember you have to but if i better i say okay you remember this as like a formula a by root 3 and from base to centroid base to centroid means this one that is length of cd cd is equals to base to centroid h by 3 that equals to h is root 3 a by 2 by 3 means into at the denominator sorry into 3 okay so root 3 root 3 times if i cancel i will get cd value here cd is equals to a by 2 root 3 root 3 times cancel a by 2 root 3 okay these two what i am saying very 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 important points many times as many as possible many times i use in my physics in regular classes okay after starting the intermediate that time i won't explain nana that time you have to recollect if i take your classes ah uh, yeah vertex to centroid that time straight away i take it as a by root 3 that time you don't ask sir how you get a by root 3 sir why because already i explained here base to centroid straight away i take it as a by 2 root 3 again don't ask sir how you get a by 2 root 3 sir already i explained here okay these two very important okay so see here from the triangle concept do you have any doubts nana okay right right no doubts okay very good very good then if you want to take the pages you can take uh, why because